These days, it's practically a requirement for a big summer action movie to have a corresponding video game, and Terminator Salvation is no exception. What's distressing about Terminator Salvation the video game is that obligation seems to have been the sole motivating force behind its development. The third-person shooter action is competent, but completely uninspired, and playing the game isn't really exciting or engaging in any way. The Terminator franchise is all about fighting for your life and the very survival of the human race, but in this game it just feels kind of like you're going through the motions. No big deal. It's cool. The short campaign is only about five hours long, and once you've finished it, your only other options are to play it again on hard difficulty or to play it split-screen with a buddy. That's not a lot of game which wouldn't be so much of a problem if they weren't charging 60 bucks for it. This game is definitely not worth that much money, and even if you rent it hoping for some fun Terminator-flavored action, be prepared for disappointment. David, do you copy? We're on our way to get you. The game is set two years before the events of the movie, but many of the movie characters and actors are featured in the game, with the notable exception of Christian Bale. The story is more about John Connor's character building than humanity's survival, and though it involves some reckless maneuvers and contrived decision making, it carries the action along pretty well. There are a lot of cutscenes that help create a cinematic feel, but, like much of the game, they're satisfactory in a negative sense. Character models aren't great, and the scenes are generally blurry. It often feels like extra cutscenes were jammed in to extend the length of the game, or even worse, substituted in for tricky gameplay sections. Yeah. Told you to trust me. Still, things move along at a good pace, and there are some moments that feel appropriately dramatic, if not particularly exciting. Look at that thing, it's falling apart. It's lasted this long. It'll last another 20 minutes. You've got to be kidding me. And speaking of not particularly exciting, the gameplay. You run through the streets and hills of a ruined Los Angeles as John Connor, killing machines that you encounter. Then you run to a new place and kill some more machines. You can aim and fire or just shoot from the hip, but you'll need to slide into cover if you want to live. Uh, <laughs> the cover mechanic has this neat little radial menu that allows you to quickly move from cover to cover, though the game isn't always consistent in what it deems to be a cover position. This can occasionally leave you exposed or stuck in a corner, but the system generally works well. The guns you wield are pretty standard. Shotgun, assault rifle, machine gun, grenade launcher, and rocket launcher. This limited arsenal is matched by the limited types of enemies you'll face. For the majority of the game, you'll be fighting three types of enemies and using the same three strategies to kill them. The flying arrow stats go down with one blast from the shotgun. For the crab-like armored fellas, you should flank them with an assault rifle, though explosives work well too. For the iconic T-600s, whip out one of the two launchers or throw some grenades and pipe bombs at them. And that's pretty much it. There are a few on-rail sequences that put you on the back of a moving vehicle and give you unlimited ammunition. And these break up the action a bit, but still fail to create any real sense of excitement. And that's the main problem with Terminator Salvation. It's boring. Even your encounter with the T-600s, the predecessor to the enemy that launched the entire freaking franchise, are anticlimactic. Most of the time, they'll just stand and blast whatever you're hiding behind, waiting patiently for you to blow them up. Other times, they'll advance on you, and then you'll have to run, because if it gets within five feet of you, it will swing its arm lazily and you will die. You can then spend your loading time staring into the unblinking eyes of your cold-hearted nemesis, respawn, and kill it easily. Playing cooperatively with a friend is preferable because your AI teammates don't like to use explosives or heavy weapons. Unfortunately, there's no online play, so you have to do it split-screen. This gives you the tactical advantage, but it also limits your view of the surprisingly colorful and detailed environments. There's also a hard difficulty level, which is definitely harder, but unless you're hungry for achievements or trophies, you won't want to live it all again. In fact, there isn't much incentive to live it the first time. This is a bland, run-of-the-mill action game that underwhelms throughout. Forget about that extortionate $60 price tag. Terminator Salvation has a tough enough time making its case as a reasonable weekend rental. You're idiots! All of you! It's suicide! It may be. But I'd rather die for a reason than live without one. <laughs> yeah. Nice knowing you. <laughs>